We have two female reproductive models. This is one, I call it the sagittal or the mid-sagittal section of the female pelvis. But I wanna point something out that up here, this is um, an oocyte with follicle cells around it, but you're not learning that. that. I mean, that's not in your lab. I think you, you learn it in the text, but that's not gonna be a part of this video. So I'm gonna focus on this down here, but I knew that you would see that oocyte up there and wonder what it was. So first let's look at things we already know. This is the sacrum. See how it kind of looks like bone with red bone marrow in it. And there's actually, there's some sp um, spinal nerves in there. And then this is the tail end of the sigmoid colon. This is the rectum, the anus. And you can see up close the internal and external anal sphincters. This is the urinary bladder filled with urine. And then here is the urethra right and this is the pubic symphysis so just give you an overall view of this model here so we're going to start with um, number one over here is the ovary now the other model that i show you for the female reproductive system is going to have a more obvious ovary than this one does because it's kind of hidden there and this this is the uterus over here. So this tube is the uterine tube, also known as oviduct, also sometimes known as fallopian tube, but that's an outdated term that the books don't use and haven't for many years. So the um, uterine tube here extends from the uterus out to the ovary and ends in these finger-like projections here called fimbriae. So we have a different number for the fimbriae than we do for the uterine tube. And if you look at the uterus, you could see, oh, and by the way, here's the sigmoid colon up here. So this is the uterus and then urinary bladder, pubic symphysis. So that means this is the urethra coming out of the urinary bladder. This is the uterus and you can see that there are numbers on the uterus indicating the innermost lining, number five here, that is the endometrium. Number seven is the middle muscular layer of the uterus, that's smooth muscle. And then all organs have this outer layer, um, like a serous membrane covering it. But we generally use this number here to mean just like the whole uterus. The neck of the uterus that projects down into the vagina, here's the vagina, is the cervix. So number six here is the cervix. So females have three openings. The first, if you're moving from anterior to posterior, the first is the urethra, then the vagina, and then the anus. And there are folds of tissue here called labia that enclose these reproductive organs and protect them. The inner smaller ones are called the labia minora and the outer ones that are covered in skin and pubic hair, even though they didn't put pubic hair on this model, are called labia majora. And then here's the clitoris. And you will notice that the clitoris looks very much like the corpus, oh, that's right, you didn't learn that term, but looks a lot like the uh, spongy erectile tissue in the male, in the penis. Because um, it is. It's the same embryonic tissue. You'll learn that in the next chapter. Um, so that is that structure. Number 13 is the clitoris.